purpose of the video. A simple 16 floor elevator simulator system, using a Delta PLC and a WineView HMI device. The simulator system has two modes of operation. The first one is remote. The second one is local. In remote mode, all of the functions, which are going to be mentioned in local mode operation, can be done automatically, via an application of a second PLC. That its I.O. ports are connected to the I.O. ports of the simulator PLC. And, it is executing, a related control program. In local mode, we can open, or, close the cabin door, by touching, and holding the corresponding push button images, or, setting the hand pointer's angular speed, to either fast or slow, accordingly. By touching and holding either, the up or down icon, we can set the direction of the cabin movement, to upward, or, downward respectively. The icons are located, at the bottom section of the HMI screen. Figures 2 and 3 show the hardware and block diagram of the system after download of the HMI control program and connection of the HMI panel to the PLC respectively. Figure 3 displays how the PLC's RS485 port is connected to the related port located on the back side of the HMI device to exchange data back and forth. Figure 4 illustrates the detail of the HMI screen graphics after the download of HMI control software. Figure 5 illustrates how a push button image can be represented by a toggle switch or a push button to better understand how each switch functions. At the beginning of the video, notice that after the system's parameters are set to the local mode, speed to fast, touching and holding the up icon, causes the red arrow sign to start flickering and, meanwhile fast sign turns on. Meaning the cabin is moving up with a fast speed from the second floor to the fifth floor. Touching and holding down button makes analog indicator to turn counterclockwise while green arrow is flickering and fast sign is turned solid on. Therefore, the hand pointer starts moving counterclockwise from the fifth floor down to the third floor. The hand pointer stops rotating as soon as the operator releases the down icon. Touching and holding the close icon causes the cabin door to close. Touching and holding the open icon causes the cabin door to open. In the next step, the operator sets fast mode off and he sets the slow mode to on status. In this case, again, tapping and holding the up button simulates the movement of the cabin upward and the hand indicator starts rotating clockwise from the third floor to the fifth one. Repeating the last step with slow speed and touching the down icon causes the pointer to rotate from the fifth floor to the fourth one. Finally, the operator directs the pointer to up from the fourth floor to the eleventh floor with the settings illustrated here. Notice that, after the pointer has reached, and stopped at the 11th floor, the operator activates the remote mode operating option, just by tapping on the remote icon. In this project, by connecting I.O. ports of the Delta PLC, to the related port terminals of a second PLC, or master PLC, the simulator is controlled by the program being executed by the master PLC. 
In this case, I generated a simple ladder program, that when executed by the master PLC, it directs the hand indicator, as is illustrated in the video, according to the following pattern. From the 11th floor to the first one, without any stop at any floor. When the pointer reaches the first floor, it stops and, the image LED starts flickering for five times. Then the pointer revolves, from the first floor to the third floor. And then the fifth floor. And finally the seventh floor. While turning the indicator on and off, only once at each stop. Then the pointer revolves, from the seventh floor to the sixth floor. And then to the fourth floor, and finally it stops at the second floor. During each stop, the indicator is turned on solid for a few seconds, and off when the pointer moves, to the next floor number. In the next project, related to this elevator simulator system, I will provide you, with some more information about, the remote mode option of the simulator system. If you have any question related to this project, post a comment, on the related page of PLC Good Site, tutorial page. And I will be more than happy to answer it. To purchase any of our products, please visit, www.plcgoods.com. Or, look for retail stores, such as Amazon.com, or eBay.com. We strive for excellence, when it comes to improving, the content of any of our ebook titles. Hence, you are welcome to apply to receive any of our title free of charge. In exchange for placing your honest review on the Amazon.com site. To take advantage of this opportunity, you just need to click on the book reviews icon located on the menu bar of our site and fill out the related form and click on the submit icon. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, for more products.